Hello, Grizzled Science Guy here, and today I prepared for you my favorite drink, anthocyanin. When you boil red cabbage, you end up with a dark purple liquid called anthocyanin. Today we're going to mix anthocyanin with different substances and look at the reactions that we get. We'll start out with some hot sauce. When you put hot sauce into your anthocyanin, give it a stir and the liquid turns a bright reddish color. That's from the chemical reaction. If we pour in a Coca-Cola or almost any kind of soda, you're going to get essentially the same kind of results. The brown coat turns the liquid red. If you pour in coffee, however, the liquid becomes clear, almost like water. What happens if you add baking soda? Well, the baking soda gets an entirely different result and you end up with a pale turquoise color. This is in a very sharp contrast if you compare it to the reaction you got from the Coca-Cola. So they're very different reactions with the same substance and the cyanide. Let's do a little more experimentation. We're going to see what happens when we put toothpaste into our anthocyanin. So we'll put some toothpaste in there, if we can, and once we start stirring it up, we'll see the results. The toothpaste turns the anthocyanin a pale blue color, much like the baking soda. What causes these differences in reactions? So think about it this way, there's probably a common property that all the substances have that turn the anthocyanin red, and all of the substances that turn the anthocyanin blue have their own common properties. If you want to discuss this, you go to sciencetutoronline.com, and there you might find the answer. Another thing to think about, and this is even more important, is we mix these, chem these chemicals and substances inside of a cup. When chemical reactions take place inside a cell, you also need some kind of container in order to, make, in order to allow the chemical reaction to happen and disturb. What are the containers used for chemical reactions inside of a cell? And again, you can discuss the answers, and I'll also give you a recipe to make your own anthocyanin when you go to sciencetutoronline.com.